Hey my loves, welcome back to a new video. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be reviewing the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation that recently came out. It just about released in the UK, so I'm so excited to try this out. Today's post-notification shout out is gonna to go to Lucky Like Me. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get a notification shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So I have the foundation right here, and if you're a long follower of mine, you know that when it comes to NARS foundation, I'm using I'm usually the shade Tahoe But like I said in my previous video, like I just feel like I've gotten so much paler I don't know if it's because of being indoors so much I got Syracuse in the soft matte foundation which was sent to me and I found that this is so dark and orange on me So I went in store and I got matched well I matched myself to Aruba which is insane You can buy this foundation for 37.50 It's a medium buildable coverage foundation I feel like the Rare Beauty one and the Charlotte Tilbury one that I recently did are all medium buildable. It has a natural finish, it's a breathable all day wear foundation, vegan formula. It's powered by advanced skincare ingredients and it's suitable for most skin types including sensitive acne prone skin. And it's makeup that looks like skin, it acts like skincare and feels light as air. It says it's, it instantly blurs imperfections, moves the look of textured skin and helps conceal blemishes, dark spots and redness. And it visibly improves skin's clarity after six weeks of daily use, even after makeup is removed. So this foundation definitely has skincare infused in it. This is what the packaging looks like. It's lush. It's lush and it's sleek. I'm just gonna pop some moisturizer i'm gonna put some of my fenty pro filter primer like i always do and also a bit of spf i've been liking the hello sunday spf 30 moisturizer right skin's all nicely prepped it's very liquidy that shea match i think is on point i've used two pumps and i'm just putting that everywhere i think i'm going to use a brush for this foundation i'm going to use my favorite brush which is the nyx 03 brush This is definitely up my street it's looking very hydrating. It's definitely a very warm foundation. Covered my scarring pretty well. I've stepped up my skincare, so my scarring is finely fading. So the shade is really nice, but it's definitely more on the warm side. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Matches really well. And I'm not gonna put more, like I'm happy with that coverage. I mean, I could put a little bit to see if it's like buildable and it blended really nicely with my brush even though like I kind of not like blending with my brush that much but I'm just too lazy to go wet my sponge guys doesn't that look really smooth and glowy oh, guys it looks really nice it just makes your skin look so quenched I put the brightness down so you guys can get a proper close-up as always but it makes my skin look really smooth. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I was just having fun with an Instagram video uh, with some inspo I found. So make sure to follow me on Instagram if you wanna see all these fun looks. Um, I definitely find like my creativity coming back to me. But yeah, overall this foundation is bomb. Like it actually sets really well. I haven't put powder, so I really like that. So yeah, definitely okay for all skin types. It's got good coverage. Everything sat on it beautifully. I don't know what it is with brands these days. They're just coming out with bomb foundations. It's just, it's basically like skin. And I love that there's the skincare benefit to it. Just like the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation that has hyaluronic acid and everything in it. So yeah, I don't have anything bad and the shade match is really on point. Maybe I should check out Aruba with the other foundations because I love the soft matte foundation, but I just can't wear Syracuse. Forget about Tahoe, they just don't suit me. So I think Aruba is just about right. But yeah, it is currently 8.07 a.m. So we're gonna wear this for the rest of the day 
and we'll see how it wears but so far it looks really nice very skin like very me so i'm all about that hey guys i will see you in a bit all right guys it's now just about 5 p.m i was working from home so i stayed home like this all day i don't think i could go out like this until that, unless i'm like going to an event or something i don't know but yeah my makeup held really well i mean i didn't do much today to be honest i just worked from home there's no smile lines there's no dryness what i might do for instagram though is maybe do like the charlotte tilbury on one side and the nails on the other to see which one i like most but to be honest i really like it um and i like the charlotte tilbury one the rare beauty one's really nice they all sit really well on my skin but I just, I think it's a question of like, what do I prefer? Which one's better? I don't know. So maybe I'll do a side by side on my Insta. Make sure to follow me on there. The only thing I would say is like, it's gathered a little bit on my forehead, which never really happens. But yeah, it's worn throughout the day. All my makeup is worn throughout the day. Like, I don't even know how I still have these gemstones on my face. Some have fallen through, but it's okay. Yeah, my face is not greasy. Like, I was able to touch my face throughout the day fine. It covers my pigmentation around my mouth really well. I just feel like there's so many bomb foundations coming out lately, and they're just all good. I mean, I can't, I can't help it. They all got bomb shade ranges, uh and they sit really well on my skin i have really dry skin so no bad things to say i'm really glad i purchased that foundation it's like my my two go-to at the moment i've got to, to be honest it's really overwhelming like all these foundations i know my like my kind of job is to review these but like i want to finish these and it's so hard with all these new releases to like get through these myself i definitely recommend it now the question is do you should you get the charlotte tilbury or the nars I don't know so i'm leaning more to the nars but let me do a like comparison i'll try and do that soon and link it in the info box once it's done so you guys can refer to that if you like but it's a good foundation i give it a good solid 9 out of 10. it's very skin like it's got skincare benefits to it and i'm happy with the shade i got so i'm very happy it's definitely medium uh, buildable coverage and i would say this is definitely okay for all skin types anyways i hope you found this review helpful let me know your thoughts in the comments below and yeah make sure to subscribe so you can join the family give this video a like so it can reach more people out there and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye